We're in this dilemma right now where we have a wide population using non-stick pans with a Teflon coating. So here at Cook Culture, we made a commitment to sell no pans with a Teflon coating. And we, we have a whole bunch of information about that specifically why on the website, but we want to look at some options if you're switching out. I myself personally, personally still have one secret egg pan that's Teflon just because I was trained in the industry to cook my eggs in these egg pans with Teflon. So I'm also making a transition and a couple of the options for that transition are these two right here. We've got a carbon steel pan and a cast iron. So the carbon steel pan is a pressed steel and the cast iron is poured. Both of these need to be seasoned to prevent them from rusting. Okay, so I'm gonna go through how to do this. With the, the Debayer Mineral B, it's coated in a beeswax, so we have to wash the beeswax off, and then we're gonna season it with oil. After we've wa washed the beeswax off, then we can season both of these the same. So you can see <clears throat> possibly this little B on there. And these pans used to be coated in like an industrial grade oil and then sent out to the food industry. And so the buyer has you know, made a commitment by putting beeswax, which is a natural product, to season their pans to keep them from rusting and transport. We still need to wash that out, okay? So we're gonna get our water in our sink as hot as we can. And we're just gonna just gently wash out that beeswax. Give it a really good rub. Just try and make sure there's no residual wax in there. Now we're gonna put about a millimeter of grapeseed oil in the bottom of this pan and heat it up until it smokes. So I've got the grapeseed oil in there. I'm just gonna swish it around, coating the rim of the pan. And you can see the change of color, this bronzing that's happening, this seasoning around the edges. And we're just going to wait until that happens on the bottom as well. You can see the smoke. It's hitting its smoke point. And we're going to bring that oil up to smoke. I'm going to just dump a little bit out and just get that smoking on the bottom and get that seasoning happening right on the bottom as well. Okay, and now we're going to use this pan to just dump that out. We're going to just flash the bottom with nothing just that little bit of oil and bronze that up and then I'm going to wipe this clean. Okay, so that's seasoned. We're going to let that blow off. We don't want to breathe any of that smoke in. If you could do this outside on your barbecue, it would be even better because um, smoke in vapor form is not great for your lungs. And we're going to give it a nice clean wipe get all that residual burnt oil out of there. After we wash the beeswax out, it becomes the same process for both cast iron and carbon steel. And so there you have it. Carbon steel pan, seasoned, ready for action.